Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so as you can see, I do have both of my BoxyCharm boxes. I have my base box here that I received as well as my premium box over here um, for the month of May and I am ready to open these boxes. I think you guys, this month is going to be my deciding month. Depending on what is in these two boxes, that's what's going to decide whether or not I stay subscribed to BoxyCharm because I think I've reached that point. So let's go ahead and open up these boxes. Um, if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a monthly makeup or beauty subscription box because you do get skincare and other items occasionally. Well, you get a lot of skincare, but... <laughs> It's a monthly beauty subscription box. You can subscribe to the standard box, the premium box, which is a little more expensive, has some more, you know, has more beauty items in the box, but that's just a basic description of BoxyCharm if you happen to have never heard of them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pop these puppies open. I'm going to start with the standard box, which is smaller, of course and see what we got in the basic box this month. Okay, so as usual, I have here my card for this month. It has a beautiful floral design on there. That's really pretty. Um, makes me think of my mom. She actually makes floral arrangements and her shop is on Etsy. Actually, I will go ahead and um, put her shop down here so that you can check her out if you're looking for floral arrangements. But yeah, very, very pretty. So that is the theme for this month, Flourish. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So I'm going to take this box out since it's right on top and in my face. <laughs> so this first box is from Murad. It says Environmental Shield City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Okay, you guys know I love a good moisturizer. And I do love a good overnight moisturizer. This one says it is detox. So that's always good. Okay, and it has one of those applicator pumps on the top where you push it down. And the product comes out of the top. So that's always neat. So yeah, City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Yeah, that's what she looks like. And I do like Murad products. So let's see what the card has to say about this. So it says here, Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Detoxify and revitalize skin overnight. A daily dose of pollution and blue light from electric devices can accelerate visible signs of aging. This breakthrough formula contains supercharged antioxidants that neutralize pollutants and strengthen skin's barrier while you sleep. Retails for $74 which is very, very expensive. <laughs> um, but I definitely love the fact that they are making products that kind of help to combat, you know, blue light and everything, if that is a thing, I don't know. But if it is a thing, I really like that because I spend way too much time looking at my computer, looking at my phone. It's just a really huge part of my life. So I'm really glad that they are making products to combat the problems that those cause to your skin. So yeah, that is the first item. Okay, let's see what we have next. Next, I have here something from Mellow. It says it's a liquid lip gloss, and that is what the packaging looks like. Oh, okay. So this is the shade of this. And it is in a frosted glass. So it's kind of confusing to me. Usually when I see the frosted glass, I think of a matte liquid lipstick. But this one says that it is a lip gloss. So let's see what it says about this. Mellow Cosmetics Lip Gloss. Get ready to spice up your lips. This ultra glossy, non-sticky formula has a uniquely smooth feel. It can be worn alone or over any lipstick. Okay. Okay. With the added goodness of vitamin E and avocado oil, the Saint Tropez shade is the perfect mauve and it's cruelty-free, vegan, and paraben-free. Retails for $18. Okay, so that's what she looks like. Let me go ahead and give her a swatch. 
Um, she's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what it looks like on my skin tone. That's pretty, actually. Very, very pretty. I will wear this with like a dark brown um, lip liner. Or, you know, just you can wear this alone, actually, just looking at it. But that's probably how I would pair it. But, yeah, very, very pretty. So that is the second item. I see here I got some brushes. <laughs> I grew up in Long Beach, born and raised. And so whenever I see green and yellow, I think of Long Beach Poly High. I didn't go to Poly, okay? My mom bussed me all the way to Lakewood. So <laughs> if you're familiar with that area, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's what I think about looking at these brushes. Um, not really my vibe, to be honest with you, even though I like color, I kind of like my brushes to look a little more just regular, but let's go ahead and see what it says about this little brush set. So this is what it looks like. I'll probably end up getting this way for sure. So I'm not going to play around and touch them and everything, but this is from Lavish. Okay. So here on the front, it says Lavish. Okay, so Lavish Essential Eye Collection. The Essential Eye Collection contains five handcrafted vegan-friendly brushes to create the most subtle or dramatic looks. Retails for $30. Okay, so there are five brushes in here. And like I showed you guys, they're just all different types of eye blending brushes. So yeah, it's a cute little brush set, but not really my vibe. Okay, let's see what else we got. This is Hot Toddy Before Ironing. Heat Protected Mist. Hmm. Okay, so yeah. This is definitely something that I will be giving away. I'm not natural at all, but I don't put heat on my hair. I wear protective styles, weaves, braids, stuff like that. You guys know that if you watch my channel. And so I don't flat iron my hair. <laughs> and I don't need this. So I will definitely be giving this away to someone who can probably get some use out of it. But it's called the Hot Toddy Before Ironing Heat Protectant Mist. Let's see what it says about this. Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protecting Mist, a lightweight spray, protects a dry hair from heat styling. With curling, straightening, and styling irons up to 450 degrees, $27. Okay, so $27. That's a pretty, you know, pricey heat protectant mist, but nice product it looks like, but I won't get any use out of it. Okay, next I have here a palette. Let me make sure this is it because I like to do the palettes last. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so this is from Cab Cosmetics. So let's see what she looks like. Okay, Cab Cosmetics Day and Night. So that's what the packaging looks like. I like the just basic, sleek, black and white packaging. Very basic, but I like the way it looks. It looks nice and clean. So let's go ahead and open her up. Okay. Very basic palette to go with the basic packaging. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty color story. It is. It looks... Um, it just reminds me a lot of the Huda Beauty, you know, the Desert Dusk and those type of palettes. So very reminiscent of that. Not necessarily something I gravitate to on a daily basis, but for someone who likes this color story and these shades, they will probably like this a lot. So yeah, this is definitely going to be given away because I don't want to keep this in my collection, but it looks like a cute palette. So let's see what it says about this. Cab Cosmetics Day and Night Eyeshadow Palette. This palette has a new formula and new sustainable packaging with 18 highly pigmented shades to create looks for both day and night all in one product. Use the softer, lighter shades to create your favorite daytime looks and play around with the bolder, darker shades for a more intense nighttime look. Retails for $52, okay? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, 
I wouldn't pay $52 for it, but maybe the quality is amazing and it's worth it. I don't know, but I wouldn't pay that much for it. But that is that from Cap Cosmetics. Okay, so that's everything that I got in my base box. Let's go ahead and open up my premium. Okay, so as you can see, the premium box is quite a bit larger. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I got. Once again, same card, same picture with all the information on the back here. So I'm just going to pull some stuff out. Okay, so this first item here is it says Royal Tulip Nectar, fragrance free moisturizing nectar okay so it looks like it's another moisturizer let's open it up and see how she looks oh this is cute very cute bloom effects royal tulip nectar oh i love this packaging look at that that is so cute i love this i'm huge on really cute packaging <laughs> but let's see what it says about this it says Bloom Effects Royal Tulip Nectar, the healing ointment to serum, hydrator, soothes, nourishes, and helps repair the skin barrier. Powered by a proprietary Dutch tulip complex and a bouquet of earth sourced botanicals, apply it anywhere your skin needs extra love. Try it as a moisturizing sleep mask. Okay, so, um, Looks like I have two like overnight type <laughs> moisturizers in my boxes, which is not cool. But um, since I can use it, you know, just as a regular hydrator on areas that need a little more attention, I'm okay with that. I don't have to use it at night. So let me open her up. Oh, wow. It doesn't smell strong, but... It smells pleasant. It doesn't stink or anything. It looks kind of interesting. Um, gosh, I don't know if you can... Oh, I'm spilling it. Nice. But it's kind of like... It looks like there's like a jelly type texture in there. And then there's liquid on top. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm making a mess. I'm, you see that? I'm spilling it everywhere. But what's in here is like... A thick gel and then there's a liquid around it so mm, let me see what's happening here this is very different oh okay so yeah it is very thick very thick jelly like um yeah I probably would have to use that like as an overnight thing because that's way too thick I wouldn't use that like any other time <laughs> But I can definitely see how they're saying, you know, it's good for if you have areas that really need a lot of attention or some extra attention because my nose gets very, very dry during this time of year. So yeah, I could definitely see putting something like this on my nose to kind of help <laughs> moisturize it. But other than that, yeah, it is very very thick very heavy and as you can see it's it's not really absorbing into the skin like you know regular moisturizers do it actually feels a little bit greasy to me so i don't know y'all i don't know we'll see see if i can clean up this mess i made <laughs> okay so that is that did i say how much that retailed for $65. So that retails for $65. Okay, next here I have something from Too Faced Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow. Okay, 24 hour crease proof. Now that's something that I would definitely like to test out because since I have hooded eyes, um, you know, when I put like liquid type shadows and just any type of shimmer or topper on my eye, you know, it just creases. That's just the natural, <laughs> natural thing that happens with hooded eyes, unfortunately. But this says that it doesn't crease. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. That's cute. I did not expect that. 
looks very different, which I'm glad because I was thinking it might look just like their um, lipsticks that they have, you know, the melted, but, and, get, and I would get it confused, but no, it looks different. So I like that. Very, very cute. So let's see what it says about this. Too Faced Melted Chocolate Eyeshadow. This innovative two-in-one whipped liquid eyeshadow formula delivers rich, intense chocolate-scented matte color in skin-centric cocoa tones that can be worn alone for an airbrushed finish, okay, or as a pigment primer that locks down for 24 hours of crease-proof, waterproof wear, $21. Oh, wow. Okay, so that sounds really really nice you can use it like blend it out or you can um use it as a base oh okay that's a pretty shade i don't even know how i would describe that shade kind of like a it reminds me of like a fall pumpkin type shade very very pretty okay so i'm gonna leave that there and we'll see what happens to it okay so this here, it says Odacite Pure Elements is at B1 plus C, Black Cumin Facial Serum, Pimples. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what it says about this, but let me check this out first. I just want to see what it looks like. I don't really have an issue with pimples, so... I would probably, I don't know. I don't know who I would give this to at this point in my life. But <laughs> this is what it looks like. So it's in a cute little, you know, looks like one of those medicated product bottles. So let's see what it says about this. Odacite B-O-B-L plus C, I guess. Pimples Black Cumin. This is a cage put serum concentrate. Formulated especially for problem skin. This potent serum helps to reduce the appearance of blemishes. Mmm. Now, I do have blemishes, okay? It says it's so concentrated that two to three drops morning and night is all you need to awaken skin's beauty. Black cumin oil helps purify the skin, promoting a more smooth and clear appearance. Cage put supports a fresh and clean complexion, visibly free of blemishes. Okay, now if it works on blemishes, it retails for $36. But yeah, if it works on blemishes, then yeah, I would definitely try this out. But yeah, I don't really have like a huge issue with acne or anything like that. So I don't know. I'll have to think about this one. Um, yeah, so that's for $36. Okay, next here I have something from, is it Rodial? I always say Rodial. <laughs> Dragon's Blood Eye Mask. Hydrate and Tone. So that's what that looks like. And it looks like, what does it say? There's three of these in here. Okay, so let's see what it says about these. Rodial Dragon's Blood Eye Mask Trio. Yep, three of them. These innovative gel eye masks combine biocellulose technology with dragon blood complex to intensely hydrate the delicate eye area with an immediate depuff effect. Okay. The cooling effect leaves skin feeling refreshed while Arnica extract helps reduce the appearance of bags and puffiness for an instantly brighter appearance. This is a great treatment for prepping before a big event. Retails for $18. So that's very good. I always like to have face masks, eye masks, stuff like that for when I do have puffy days, dark circle days. You know, if they work, they do come in handy. I haven't really found any that work for me. <laughs> so these I will definitely try just to see if, you know, this dragon's blood um hydrate and tone eye mask um do make a difference so yeah this is something i will actually try okay next i have here something from grown alchemist it says body cream i love a good body cream okay so i'm already excited about this let's open her up and see what she looks like oh this is another one of those products that's in that kind of like what is this, like aluminum or foil type packaging? You know, 
for the product. It's nice and cool. I can feel that it's nice and cool. But this is what it looks like. Very big tube, as you can see. So let's see what it says about this body cream. Grown Alchemist Body Cream Mandarin Rosemary Leaf. A deeply hydrating body cream formulated with potent bioactive ingredients that noticeably nourish, moisturize, and soothe dry skin to visibly restore skin's elasticity and suppleness. Retails for $26. Okay. I mean, I will say that this is not my favorite type of packaging. I assume that they put products in here, you know, maybe because of the ingredients that they have. Maybe it's for the environment. I don't know. It's cruelty-free and vegan, which is cool. Certified organic. Okay. So if you are into that, then you might want to check this out. But yeah, let me see if it has a safety seal. Yeah, it does. It actually has a kind that you have to puncture. So <laughs> unfortunately, I'm not going to sit here and puncture this to uh, try it out. But yeah, I will definitely try this out because, you know, who doesn't like a nice, good body cream? So we'll see how this one works. So that retails for $26. And then it looks like I have one more item in here. Something from, is it La Roche? La Roche, La Roche. So in this cute little paper packaging here, let's see what this is. It says vegan, cruelty-free, and hypoallergenic. Okay, so we got some brushes here. Very nice, first impression, very nice. I do like the like studded handle here i do like that so let me take these out right quick you guys know i love a good brush okay so this is what they look like let me try and give you a better look so this is what these brushes look like i love that black studded handle i really really do these looks like like some very interesting brushes to put in a set together because it has like this one smaller brush here which is a small angle brush as you can see and then it has here a highlighter brush which i love a good highlighter brush this one looks slightly um large to me <laughs> for highlighter um larger than the highlighter brushes that i typically use i like the fact that it has the name on the brush as well and then this one here is a kabuki <laughs> A buki buki boo. So yeah, this is a kabuki brush here. You guys can tell, obviously, I watch TikTok and Reels way too much. <laughs> but yeah, so that is a brush set. Let's see what it says about these. LaRouche Beauty on the Go set. Get ready to cover all the basics with this set. This three-piece set comes with a dense domed brush for foundation or contour, a powder brush for highlighter or blush, and a small dense angle brush for eyeliner or brows. Retails for $96. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> I would never pay $96 for this set. Just looking at the brushes, you know, they're decent, but the quality is not like $100 quality, you know, for a three-piece brush set. Nope. No, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, you can get such nice brush sets from BH Cosmetics and, you know, just a plethora of other brands. <laughs> Shoot, my girl DJ's Unique Boutique, she has some amazing brushes, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, definitely not $96 brushes, but they are cute and the handles are cute. Okay, so... I'm just touching this eyeshadow that I put on earlier. I can feel it. It's definitely dried down and it's not really, it's not moving. It's not moving at all. I do see a slight transfer on my fingertip there, but yeah, it looks like it's staying in place pretty nicely. So yeah, that's good to know. So this is my whole premium box for the month of May, you guys. And like I said, this was probably going to be a deciding month for me. And I think I am going to go ahead and cancel. Can you guys believe it? I'm ready to cancel because 
I have more skincare than I know what to do with. The makeup that has been coming in the boxes lately really hasn't been floating my boat, to be honest with you, or knocking my socks off. And I think I've kind of really just reached a point where the disappointment is more than the pleasure. So I don't want to waste my money. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and cancel. I can't believe I'm saying that, but yes, I'm going to cancel my boxy. I think I'm done. So anyways, that's it for this month, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me to check out my boxes and I will see you on the next video. Toodles!